As president-elect, I bring significant experience as a senior leader in the library sector who has worked across public, academic and research libraries. As state librarian and CEO at the State Library of Queensland, I am responsible for an annual budget of approximately $80 million Australian and leading a workforce of 350 people. I am accountable for the organisation's financial and risk management, as well as securing philanthropic support and sponsorship for new programs. Over the last 12 months, despite the impact of COVID, we have delivered programs and services to more members of our community than ever before in our 120 year history. I believe my experience as a CEO, together with my experience as President of the Australian Library and Information Association, have equip equipped me well to contribute effectively to the work of IFLA. As a member of the IFLA Governing Board since 2017, I have been actively involved in the implementation of the IFLA Global Vision. As a professional committee chair, I led the review of the professional units, which I believe responds well to the feedback from standing committee members. Together with the President, President-elect and Secretary-General, I was a member of the steering committee that oversaw the full governance review, including the review of the statutes and rules of procedure. During my terms on the Governing Board, I have been a member of the Finance Committee and Chair of the Congress Advisory Committee. I am confident that I have the background and experience to be the IFLA President. I have been always actively committed to the library field. In these high-risk times, I offer my personality, my knowledge, my skills to do the job. I'm a strong person, very internationally orientated. I had several leading positions and I have always had full-time jobs. I think in solutions and not in problems. I can handle stress, but I'm not a loner. I'm a team player. I want to work closer together with the Secretary General, with the board, with IFLA sections and SIGs, with the national associations and with you. As governing board and executive committee member and mainly as treasurer, working closely with the president and president-elect, I know about the intensity and complexity to execute my duties. For me, it is a matter of integrity and liability. Dignity, cooperation, spirit and very hard work are my main characteristics. Having travelled in more than 52 countries and participating in many, many high-level meetings with world leaders on issues like um, uh, culture and education, I know the complexity on um, strategic management and on project management and the implementation of SDGs. I will never forget my first IFLA Congress in Boston in 2001, mesmerized by the IFLA spirit. And now, 20 years after, I feel emotional and decisive. Dear colleagues, I thank you for the overwhelming support you have given me. I'm so glad to have received this great number of nominations from Africa, Asia, Australia, and Oceania, MENA, Europe, Latin America, and Caribbean, North America. I'm ready to become your president. I can and I want to do the job. Voting for me is voting for IFLA's future, our future. My experience as president of ALA, the largest library association in the world, management, governance, and strategic planning at all levels, global leadership in all regions of the world with IFLA, FAVE, CPDWL, co-establishing IFLA new professionals, and advocating on behalf of IFLA at the United Nations equips me to, together with IFLA, drive change to strengthen our global library field. As ALA president, I presided over the largest library association in the world, working to impact public policy and making decisions for 60,000 members from all libraries and library industries. With 11 divisions, 21 roundtables, and multiple committees, conferences welcome up to 27,000 people, and publications are strong, both bringing in great revenue, which I oversaw together with finances committees while keeping track of developments by the endowment trustees, managing the investments of the association. In my job managing different types of libraries and its personnel, operations and services in Puerto Rico and USA, working closely with embassies, consulates, elected officials, university leadership, boards and donors, strategic planning, implementation, and review processes for associations and libraries are part of my job. 
While president of ALA, we undertook a massive governance review process. I have advocated at the United Nations, at the European Union Parliament, in different states in the USA, New York City Hall, and on the streets of New York City. I am positive, together with you, we can bring change.